بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ابو داؤد سلیمان بن الاشت ٹھیک ہے دس از دا کمپلیٹ نیم اینڈ ہی واز بورن ان 202 اے ایچ دیٹ از دی ایئر اف ہجرہ ہی لائک دی ادر اسکالرز اف ہز ٹائم مسٹ ہیو اسٹڈیڈ قران اور عربک لٹریچر جیسے وہ ارلیئر جو سرٹیفیکیشن لیول کی لائک جیسے اسٹڈیز ہوتی ہیں اپ لوگوں کی تو پرائر ٹو جو ہے اسٹارٹنگ ہز اسپیشلائزیشن ان ادیت he must have started we don't have any record over the time but we assume by we i mean the scholars assume that he must have studied his quran and arabic in his earlier life humne uh, we decided or we discussed the age by which generally the students of that time had completed their basic level of education to wo aap logo ki taqreeban age group banta tha kya age humne learn ki thi by which age they would have completed ha ah, 15 same age in which okay. uh, generally our students uh, do o level or igcsc theek hai to isi age tak wo bhi basic education wo kar liya karte the like all the scholars of uh, his time he traveled extensively for the study of hadith and where did he go almost entire important centers of uh, learning were visited by him where the teachers of Uh, hadith of that time used to reside and offer their services to the um, to their pupils who were very very eager and had um, came to those places from all across the muslim world so uh, we have discussed these uh, centers several times khorasan was an important province in central asia ra arat these all three important centers are in central asia theek hai kufa baghdad um tarsus kufa and baghdad are um, adjacent to um, arabia tarsus damascus egypt and basra so these are all important centers of learnings for uh, the students of fiqh as well as hadith so we are uh, discussing abu daud sulaiman with the reference of his specialization and his rahla wo ise kehte hain the journey the travel they uh, undertake to um, learn hadith theek hai and uh, how do we uh, actually know that um, at what era he was trying to uh, jo hai um, become a scholar of hadith we find him in 221 age in baghdad okay theek hai so it means that he started his journey for the learning of hadith while he was less than 20 years theek hai to hamare paas usko گیج کرنے کا میئر کرنے کا ایک اسٹینڈرڈ ہے دس از جسٹ ا ورک آف جیسے آپ کہتے ہیں کہ ایک انٹیلیجنٹ ہسٹورینس وی مارک دا پریزنس آف دا پرسن بائی سرٹن رپورٹس آف دیئر کنٹیمپریز اینڈ تھرو دیئر ریفرنس وی ریئلائز کہ جی امام صاحب واز بورن ان ٹو ون ٹو سو اف ہی واز Uh, 200, in 221 he was learning hadith in baghdad that means that he must be with humne andaza laga li na ki he was uh, jo hai less than 20 years of age when he was uh, in baghdad he spent 20 years in tarsus one of the important centers of learning of hadith and uh, he gained um, a reputation of uh, muhaddis in his lifetime so he was among those lucky people who had a great reputation while he was alive okay and uh, we can understand um, his uh, popularity among the masses by an anecdote that uh, a governor of uh, an important city okay um jo abu ahmad hai he invited abu daud to visit okay and uh, jo hai basra and if possible to stay there theek hai ek wo war ki wajah se wo shehar jo hai wo deserted ho gaya hua tha so he wanted uh, to re um, jo hai establish the city as a thriving center of learning with the help of imam abu daw so he was so popular that the governor was expecting that if he arrives in the city and make Uh, it a center of uh, his teaching 
hundreds of students would come to the city from all across the world and it would again become a thriving center for learning as well as business okay so that was the importance of the important scholars of that time bilkul aise hi jaise hamare yahan aajkal ke daur mein entertainment industry ka hota hai when we want to popularize a place hum wahan pe jo hai apne movie stars aur is tarah ke log le aate hain to ab us zamane mein jo scholars hua karte the islamic learning ke they were so popular that people would throng to the places where they would teach hadith or fiqh um and establish uh, these areas as their bases okay um he is considered to be a very reliable and trustworthy muhaddis and uh, uh, he was also a very good lawyer and a good critic humne pehle bhi padha hai ki critics aur bhi jo hain almost ye jo ibtida ke sare log hain they were all very good critics humne ikmail bukhari ke mutalliq padha tha ki he was he was very polite and uh, very cautious while commenting on the works of other scholars of his time the contemporaries in ke hote the but uh, even a small um, criticism in a mild manner by imam muhammad of mind bukhari would meant a lot for his peers likewise abu daud was considered an admirable critic which means that he had an insight muhaddis jo hote hain their basic task is to gather and compile hadith theek hai and the interpretation and uh, uh, to delve deep into the meaning of hadith is the job of the faqihin the jurists theek hai so uh, lekin some of the compilers were uh, faqihin as well and they had a uh, good uh, in depth knowledge of the meaning of the hadith as well theek hai uh, his criticism jo hai uh, was so deep that even in that old days he would uh, while um, uh, jo hai verifying the authenticity of uh, the hadith he would uh, check the material of uh, jo hai of the medium on which uh, hadith would be brought to him yani ki agar paper hai to he would uh, try to Uh, gauge the paper the ink that was used to uh, write that hadith so like in a good investigating journalist he would try to verify from all um, possible dimensions from all aspects that whether uh, this hadith is purely authentic or not okay and he was so strict in these matters that he even condemned his own son abdullah as a liar okay since he uh, in the opinion of the imam he had misreported some ahadith so he did not forgive even his uh, own son so particular was he in his um, in his job and in his, in his profession okay um uh, we know about his family that he was married and had children and uh, we are all for informed that uh, one of his teenage son used to accompany um, in the circle of the scholars of hadith abu daud died on friday 15th shawwal 275 in basra so kya hai jo hui phir inki on which year he was born 202 202 okay so uh, he died in 275 so he was quite of a ripe age uh, 73 years of age and he died in basra where uh, which he ultimately established as his base for teaching hadith let's move to his works hum kya padhe hain hum basically isko do perspective mein cover kar rahe hain okay one the personality of the compilers okay baaz oka the it uh, comes as a single question sometime it would come as two separate question they would only ask you about um the description of the six authentic books in that case you would reduce um the information on the author okay sometime they would ask you to only uh, give the biographies of the or the efforts of the compilers of hadith in that case you can cut short the 
इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन देयर वर्क्स ऑन देयर बुक्स ठीक है जो मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट है तो आप कुछ लाइंस उस पर लिखेंगे लेकिन यू नीड टू कट शॉर्ट डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन देयर बुक समटाइम दे ओनली आस्क फॉर द एफर्ट्स दैट वर मेड इन दैट केस यू हैव टू कंबाइन बोथ द टॉपिक्स द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ द स्कॉलर एज वेल एज द देयर इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क्स सिंस वी आर जो है कंबाइनिंग द टू तो ये उसकी एफर्ट्स हैं बेसिकली विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग है इट मेक्स जो है थिंग्स मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वेन यू सेपरेट द टू टॉपिक्स बाय डिस्कसिंग द बायोग्राफी सेपरेटली एंड देयर वर्क सेपरेटली इट बिकम वेरी वेरी ड्राई ठीक है उसमें इंटरेस्ट जो है वन लूज इज इंटरेस्ट इन इन दिस क्वेश्चन तो इसलिए मैंने उसको कंबाइन कर दिया हुआ His works. There were several. हम कुछ थोड़े से देख लेते हैं अल मरासिल मसाइल इमाम अहमद अलनासिक वल मनसूख रिसाला फी वसफ किताब यू नीड नॉट टू गो थ्रू ऑल दीज जो है टाइटल्स एक दो आपको याद होने चाहिए एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्क इज डेफिनेटली हिज सुन ठीक है Since he stayed in twenty years, uh, for twenty years in Tarsus, so uh, it is under, who uh, is inferred by the scholars that he must have done the major work on his sonnet while he was living in Tarsus. He selected some four thousand eight hundred hadith from five hundred thousand. Okay. जैसे इमाम इस्माइल बुखारी ने हमने पढ़ा था कि 6000 में से फिर उन्होंने कुछ चंद हजार थ्री थाउजेंड समथिंग किया और इसी तरह से इन्होंने भी फ्रॉम 500,000 से इन्होंने सिर्फ 4,800 हदीस जो हैं वो सेलेक्ट की और इनका कंसर्न बेसिकली ये था कि सिर्फ वही हदीस जो हैं जो रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हों वो होनी चाहिए तो ही वुड लिमिट द नंबर ऑफ हदीस इन एनी चैप्टर प्रॉपर गाइडेंस इन रेफरेंस टू तहारा विच दे रिक्वायर ठीक है, so he did not try to go into um, the numbers. Instead, he uh, assured that the quality of hadith that he had compiled should be the best. ठीक है, और ऐसा नहीं था कि he didn't had other जो है hadith on the same topic, authentic hadith. He said कि I have limited the numbers to one or two for the sake of the convenience of an average reader. ताकि उन्हें एक दो हो तो याद रह जाएंगी. the more the hadith the more difficult for them to remember it so my job is according to him that his job was to educate the people and not making things difficult for them theek hai to is wajah se he kept their number at so uh, on the lower side agar do teen hadith mein baat puri ho jati hai so he would not move on to the next hadith उनकी जो अपनी स्टेटमेंट है सेड दैट इवन फोर आउट ऑफ देम आर सफिशिएंट फॉर अ मैन इन दिस लाइफ एंड द एरा सो ही वाज सो कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट हिज कंपाइलेशन इवन इफ यू रिमेंबर फोर ऑफ देम फोर ऑफ माय आदि दैट वुड सफाइस यू फॉर दिस लाइफ एंड फॉर द एयर आफ्टर और उनकी किताब जो है एज ए रेफरेंस बिकेम वेरी वेरी फेमस इवन इन द लाइफ टाइम ऑफ Uh, the scholar or ali bin hasan one of his famous students said that he learned his book six times from abu tab okay so um, people were so eager to learn from abu tab that they would keep on repeating and revising under the inspiration of the tab this book is considered one of the best and most comprehensive then others on the subject of legal hadith sunan ad कंपाइलेशन की जो बेस्ट एस्पेक्ट क्या होता है दे प्रोवाइड एन इजी एक्सेस टू द ज्यूरिस्ट फॉर जो है डिटरमिनिंग लॉज एंड फॉर देयर ज्यूरिस्टिक ज्यूरिस्टिक गाइडेंस ठीक है लाइक 
Imam Muslim or Tirmizi. Uh, he had also uh, Johe collected uh, hadith in his book which were not authentic. Okay? And uh, he didn't try to uh, Johe hide them. Uh, wherever he has um, included a weaker hadith in his compilation, he had mentioned it. And if he forgot or if he did not find any weakness in the hadith, then later scholars Johe have mentioned it. They have uh, Johe clearly um, outlined it in their commentaries. Why do you think that uh, Imam Abu Daud recorded uh, weak hadith in his son? You have any idea? No, sir. Probably, probably, like, uh, I think probably, like, Imam Nisai, he, he wanted to connect them and write. One thing is uh, very clear, as you suggested. KG, uh, people should know, uh, uh, should be able to make a distinction between the various uh, categories of hadith. Okay? But other than that, he considered that even if a hadith is weak, like a student who would not get 100% marks in his tests or exams, um, but rather 50% of it, he said that the hadith that gets the 50% marks is better than the personal opinion of the scholars. Okay? So he recorded the hadith instead of getting the legal opinions of the scholars um, regarding that particular issue. Okay? So he always preferred hadith over the opinions of um, other scholars. So there are several commentaries, but I think that is more than what is uh, required by us. Several commentaries on hadith. But we This is more than the requirement of what is required by Cambridge is um, when it asks about the efforts or uh, about the works that were compiled for 200-300 years of Hijr, uh, they want you to discuss uh, two to three scholars in detail and for the rest of the three even if you mention uh, jo hai, some important information about them leaving aside uh, the details um, they would um, be very happy about that okay um, it is not required that all the six scholars are discussed or their works are discussed in detail. The most important one among them should be um, discussed and explained uh, in detail. The rest of them, if you mention the major information or the important highlights of their career as well as their works, that uh, would satisfy your exam. Okay? Assalamu alaikum Abdullah, you are once again late. Sami Yawadari, Assalamu alaikum sir. Jim wa alaikum late hai, almost half an hour. Sir, wo kya kehte hain? Koi time, is time light nahi hoti aur mere paas sir data nahi tha. We have discussed Imam Abu Daud. Ko. Now we are moving on to uh, Imam Tirmazi. Okay, Muhammad bin Isa at Tirmazi. So uh, stay with us. Or if you have a question, ho, then you can please do us. Okay? Yes, sir. Muhammad bin Isa bin Suara bin Musa bin Zahak at Tirmazi. Muhammad bin Isa at Tirmazi, that is more than enough. They can, just for the sake of your information, I have mentioned the complete name. He was born in the year. Uh, Abdullah, apne, uh, speaker ko, uh, pe mute speaker. When you ask a question, you 
Babu's for Banu Nagar. So he was born in the year 209, a little younger than Imam Abu Daud, and he began his rehla for the study of Hadith probably in 235, again when he was less than 20 years of age. And what is rehla, Ahmad? For the journey they make to study. Exactly. The travel, the journey that they undertake to learn from various scholars of his, of their time. So he started when he was less than 20 years of age, like all the other scholars of this period. And he returned to his hometown for a time before 250. So this is about 15 years of uh, constant struggle, which is too much. हमारे पीएचडीज वाले पांच साल में पारे हो जाते हैं। You can clearly see how enthusiastic were these people uh, about learning their religion and the relevant sciences. It's, it's amazing. Every time I teach this, I feel inspired. के how um, studious were they or how um, great was their thirst for learning about the Prophet and his uh, okay. um, uh, His work seemed to be um, a great much in, uh, influenced by uh, the uh, work of uh, Imam Bukhari. And uh, in his uh, book, Elal, he explicitly stated that he did not find one like Bukhari in Iraq or Khorasan. Then as he died, on 13th Rajab 279 AH. His work, the most important, is Ajami. Okay? The complete name is Ajami Al Muqtasar Min As Sunan and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And like the uh, other scholars of the time, he had a great collection of uh, other writings like Tari, Khalil Al, Khalil Al Kabir, Shamail. Shamail is another important work. Uh, which is uh, often referred uh, even by the Pakistani scholars. Aise nahi pata hoga ke they are referring Shamail. But Shamail actually, the personality traits of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He gathered together uh, all the personality traits uh, of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam under a single, uh, in a single volume. Uh, known as Shamail, Shamail Tirmazi. Okay, I'm going to name it. It's going to be detailed name, but we can be generally refer it as Shamail. So, here we have Shamail. So, uh, if you have uh, ever heard um, our um, scholars like uh, Malana Tariq Jameel explaining uh, uh, the Appearance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. आप लोगों ने सुना है कभी उनको बताते हुए कि हमारे नबी कैसे थे? No sir. नहीं. अगर आप if if you happen to uh, जो है hear him learn from him sometime, मतलब he he uh, मतलब uh, the recipient of वो uh, जो Old YouTube का वो था ना उससे भी ऊपर का एक platinum का उनका award होता है जिसपे वो YouTube की plate देते हैं तो he is the recipient of the best uh, known speakers uh, in the entire world तो उसमें वो जो नबी क्रीम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम का हुलिया बता रहे होते हैं ना the appearance and the characteristic of the Holy Prophet सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम most important uh, जो है information is generally gathered from this work ठीक है so, Shamail is another important work. Asma wal kunna al asar al mokufa. There are seven. You just need to uh, remember one or two, and that would suffice so for us. Uh, what uh, did actually the author want to achieve? In a systematic way, may he want to collect the um, hadith of the Prophet. Then his work is Sunan. So, he tried to facilitate the work of uh, the jurist. Okay? Or uh, the third thing is that he discussed in his work the weaknesses or uh, 
the shortcomings of the are these that came in his um, observation or that he uh, jo hai, compiled in his book his book is being divided in 50 sub books that is wo jaise hum chapters karte hain na is tarah wo kitab mein usko divide kiya jata hai kitab e salat kitab e tahara is tarah se kare and uh, it can ji ji sir mujhe lagta hai samjhayenge sir ye c wala to discuss matlab sir ke jo theek hai na all the uh, these are not a... ji ji wahi batane laga all the uh, these are not authentic illa is the weakness aage humne likha bhi hua hai na ke jo weakness hai ya jo shortcoming hai ye maine bola bhi ke jo hadith ke andar shortcoming hai na he discussed this ke iski wajah kya hai shortcoming ki misal ke taur pe uh, one of the link in the chain of narrator is missing so he discussed the reason why probably uh this link was omitted by somebody who has reported the hadith or why jo hai we were unable to record it theek hai or if there is some issue in the text theek hai if it is uh, colliding with any other um jo statement of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam or if we find that that it is not rational and or it does not appeal to our common sense so he had discussed it ke ji what could be the reason this is called the illa jo or the weakness in the hadith theek hai it's a complete uh, subject aur uski uh, jo various dimensions hai you na know, aap aap dekh rahe hain ki they would collect 600000 500000 sometimes 700000 hadith and what you find in their works in their compilation is 3400 3000 और सो जो है मोर और लेस दिस नंबर ऑफ हदीत सो इनकी जो है वो थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स हदीत हैं सो फ्रॉम अमंग मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड हदीस इफ यू अराइव एट फोर थाउजेंड हदीस इन जनरल दैट मींस दैट यू आई फाइंड इश्यूज विद द हदीत और यू वर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड इवन विद द चेन ऑफ द नरेटर्स ठीक है तो वो जो वीकनेसेस हैं वो सारी के तो इग्नोर ही कर दी ना उन्होंने बाकियों को तो लिया ही नहीं बट इफ ड्यू टू द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द हदीस दे हैव मेड इट अ पार्ट ऑफ देयर कंपाइलेशन देयर वर्क दे वुड डिस्कस द वीकनेस ठीक है ये मेरा ख्याल है इब्ने माजा ने नहीं डिस्कस किया वही एड ओमिटेड डेट ऑल टूगेदर कि अगर कहीं पे वीकनेस है तो वो उसे ओमिट कर देते all the other uh, jo hai ye saas sata ke jo scholars hai they all discuss the week if, if there are few weak hadith in their work they would discuss it and mention that weakness so ye jo discussion hai on the weakness or the shortcomings of the hadith to categorize it aap dekh rahe hain sahi hai hasan hai weak hai weak ke aage several branches hain some scholars say ke ji wo about 200 se 200 tak uski categories ban uh, jati hain तो उसकी वो रैशनल बेसिस देते हैं ना कि क्यों हम इसको एक वीक हदीस कंसिडर करते हैं तो ये इल्ला या वीकनेस जो है इस पर हम ठीक है जामिया कलेक्शन आई जस्ट आस्ट जो है फ्रॉम अहमद की जी जामे कलेक्शन क्या होती है और उसको एक्सप्लेन भी कर दिया लेट्स हैव अ फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन बिफोर आई वाइंड इट अप A book containing all kinds of hadith is called jam. I have said that the important topics are those which are all the books. If you have a book, then you call it jam. Let's see ke what the topics are generally. We will see some of them. If it contains a hadith concerning CR, that is international law, adab, social behavior, meaning tafsir, exegesis of the Quran, akida, that is on belief, fitan, fitan, which is what we call trials. को जो है वो कहते हैं स्पेशली द एरर्स ऑफ ट्रायल्स अहकाम कॉज ऑफ ऑल काइंड्स अल अशरात एंड मनाकिब क्योंकि जो बायोग्राफी ऑफ द प्रॉफिट है उसके और कंपेनियंस के बारे में उसके बारे में जो इंफॉर्मेशन वो रखती है सच अ वर्क इज कॉल्ड अ जामी ठीक है एज द सुनन ऑफ तिर्मिजी कंटेंस ऑल दीस चैप्टर देयरफॉर इट इज नेम्ड एज जामी एज वी recall it with both the names a jamir 
आत्मजी और सोनोन आत्मजी ठीक है सो so, मेरा ख्याल है यहाँ पे हम इसको वाइंड अप कर लेते हैं नेक्स्ट कॉलर जो है वो हमारे आ, इब्न माजा है ठीक है और जो मटेरियल हमने डिस्कस कर लिया है इनके ऊपर दैट इज के दैट इज मोर देन आई डोंट वांट टू बर्डन यू विद द एक्स्ट्रा मटेरियल बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बाय द एग्जाम ठीक है हम डिस्कस कर सकते हैं कि हाउ ही अरेंज इज मटेरियल एंड सम अदर स्टफ लेकिन मेरा uh, ख्याल है कि क्योंकि दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बाय द एग्जामिनर और इवन इट्स नॉट द पार्ट सच लेवल ऑफ डिटेल आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ आर सिलेबस एज वेल तो उसके ऊपर नहीं जाते ताकि आप ओवर बर्डन ना हो जाए चीजों के बाद लेकिन uh, जो हमने पढ़ लिया है प्लीज उसके ऊपर इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज डू आस्क